My name's Jordan, I'm 22, and I've been working at Axis for four and a half years. When I was finishing college, I went on Seek and I found Axis, so I put my application in and then I started as a salon assistant. My role started in Tea and Tidy, helping out on the floor, and as we got busier, it branched out to more of a reception role. I learned how to answer the phones, make bookings, take money, and help coordinate everyone in the salon. After having my two roles of being the salon assistant and working with reception, I had the opportunity to expand myself once again and start to learn basic styling, blow dries, finishing colour services to help the other stylists out. From here, with the skills I developed, I had become Adam's full-time assistant. I looked after everything he did in salon. It presented travel opportunities for his external education. I was booking classes for 15 to 20 people, organising them, organising catering and managing all basically the outside details. I really enjoyed the travelling and the event management side of things. By the time the students had got to their class, that was my job done. So I found myself watching the hair and watching what they were doing. Towards the end of one of the classes, Adam had noticed that I was watching all day and asked if I wanted to give the haircut a go. I mean, a mannequin and can't complain. Adam asked if I, if I had ever considered hairdressing before and yes I had. I had relatives, family members who were into it. They turned me off it saying it was paid poorly, it was a harsh work environment, it just wasn't somewhere where you would have a sustainable career. For me to enter hairdressing it was really unconventional. When I first started working at Axis I was a year 12 student and then became a uni student. I got into exercise science, I became a qualified personal trainer and I did this all on the side until it got to a point where I had been working with hair for so long and I had seen that the industry was better than what it was portrayed to me as. At that point, I had had so many roles and done all other aspects of the business. The only thing left to learn was actually doing hair. That's when I decided I wanted to undertake an apprenticeship. I'd now decided to do my apprenticeship. Then we got hit with the lockdown. During lockdown, I spent my time absorbing education from various people online. When we were allowed to, I took the opportunity and spent at least four hours a week coming into salon and having one-on-one -on -one training with Adam. Lockdown ended and life went back to normal. Got to February 2022 and I had officially enrolled in my apprenticeship at CIT in Canberra. I never thought I would be enrolling in school again. I was determined to get the apprenticeship out of the way. The staff at CIT recognised the experience I already had and allowed me to work at my own pace to get it done. Here I find myself March 2023 and I'm a few weeks from being qualified. I showed I was capable and I was able to progress myself. The faith put in me by Adam and Michelle is a testament to the support at Axis because they've trusted me to do so many different roles in a short amount of time. I went from having one impression to hairdressing that it wouldn't get me anywhere to living the reality of it. Every day in the salon is different and my career is diverse. My job is not just being a hairdresser, it's so multifaceted. I'm involved in so much in the business. I do hair, I make people feel good and it's progressing every day. Axis does have a high standard. So. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 I got it, I got it. You told to say dress up, you feel good, you look forward to coming to work. One of the things I like about working in a high standard environment is that everyone looks good, feel good about yourself, you look forward to coming to work, and that rubs off onto the client. You're gonna have a good bloopers, right? On the flip side of it, we do know how to have fun, things can get a little crazy sometimes. Craziest, I'm gonna go on par with Billy and Adam. Billy's crazy in general, she'll push boundaries, she's just, if something's crazy, it's her. Adam is crazy, he always has ideas, he functions not like the normal human, he gets <laughs> done. There's so many different opportunities and it doesn't end. I built an e-commerce store, I've worked on so much outside of the salon, I have done Australia Hairdresser of the photo shoots with Adam, travelled for the education. A career in hairdressing is more than just doing hair day to day on the floor. Axis supports work-life balance. At the end of the day, everyone needs a work-life balance. We're always encouraged to look after ourselves, live our lives, and get the most out of it. Axis has flexible working hours for people who can only work part-time or certain hours. We are constantly looking at ways that we can prove our hours to better accommodate staff and our clients. One of the things I was told prior to hairdressing is that the industry didn't pay well. I can tell you this is wrong. I have been looked after from the start. In starting my apprenticeship, I was worried about my wage. Access is very flexible with their wages. Talking to Michelle about this was great because it meant that I didn't have to make a financial sacrifice to be an apprentice because life's expensive. We all have bills to pay and things to do, life to live. Um, it showed to me that access is very flexible. 
So, <laughs> um, if you're watching this video and you're considering hairdressing, I hope I've opened your eyes to what beholds itself in this business. It's not just doing hair. At Access, we're a team. We all work together. There is no hierarchy. We're always learning. We're always progressing. If you're ready to step into hairdressing and you're not scared of hard work, you're ready to do it, I guarantee you everyone in this environment will work hard to make sure that you reach your goals. To come and meet me and the team, drop us an email at www. No, it's not www, it's no. salon. If you're interested in hairdressing or you're wanting a change, if you need any information or are wanting a one on one confidential interview, drop us an email salon at accesshair.com.au. Alternatively, you can DM us on Instagram or Facebook or even come in and say hi to us in salon. I can't wait to see you soon. Hello.